Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! You know guys, the project we are going to work on today, it's been my dream project already for a very long time. Really, already probably for two years, I can clearly see in front of my eyes the finished project. A doll, some mini doll, I don't know, maybe some 15 centimeters, something like this in some vintage style, customized as a mini vintage doll, that lives in a box. And this box, it's not just a storage space or just, uh, you know, packaging to sell the doll. But this is an actual, like, mini dollhouse. Really, I have this image in my head already for years, for many, many, many years. But every time when I think about start working on it, I tell myself, no, girl, it's not gonna go. It will take too long. It will take for sure two, three, four weeks to finish. And you know, with your weekly upload, it's not gonna go. And I skipped this project again and again. I delayed it, postponed it again and again. So, now I think it's finally time to do it because even now, years later, I still have this idea, this image in my head and I really eagerly waiting to try to make it real and I really hope that in the real world it's going to look as good as it does in my head. But, you know, it doesn't happen every time. But I hope it's going to work this time with this doll. So, I've bought here all kinds of dolls. Yeah, all kinds of dolls. This is the same kind of a doll. This is this uh, younger Barbie sister. What is her name? Kelly? Shelly? I don't really know. It's, by the way, extremely strange that there is no doll name on the packaging. It just says Barbie and a collection. This one is a Dreamtopia Barbie. And these two... Yeah farmhouse i think dream house adventures and this one you can be anything barbie so yeah these three mini barbie dolls let's call them like this because i'm really not sure about her name i would call her kelly but i'm not sure and i think that the size of this doll is really ideal for such a doll in a box and yeah her face I can work with it. It's absolutely not hopeless. I can work on this face and I hope I will be able to turn this doll into a vintage looking doll. We just have to choose one of these dolls to work on further. And I've also bought all kinds of boxes because you know nowadays you have to buy everything online, everything you need to order on internet. Yeah, the shops are open now in Belgium, but you anyway have to stay in this long line outside of the shop and wear a mask and who knows, I don't know. I'm self-isolating already for almost three months. <laughs> Poor me, I want to go on holidays. But anyway, I ordered these boxes online uh, because I couldn't see their actual size and their features. So I ordered a lot of boxes, a lot of dolls, and now we are going to start working on all this. We are going to choose one doll, one box, and we will start customizing. Of course, I have no idea how long it's gonna take. Yep, at least two weeks. I give myself one week to finish a doll and one week to finish the doll house, the box house. But who knows, maybe it will take... Yeah, and I still have to make a video. So it will probably take around three weeks, maybe even longer. But you know, guys, lately I've started to feel that I've become kind of... In, a victim of my own weekly upload schedule. Because when I myself invented this schedule, when I started it four years ago, almost in October 2016 it was. Of course, I was just starting my channel. I've decided, oh yeah, it's probably a good idea to upload one doll repaint per week. It's probably a good start for my channel. And of course, in the beginning, my dolls, they were extremely simple. They are all still on my channel. I've never deleted even one single video from my channel because it's this channel is not about look at me how cool I am, but this is a channel actually about 
growing as an artist because if you see my first videos you probably can do something like this as well and yeah my last dolls are of course much more complicated yeah, so what I wanted to say that in the beginning there was no problem to complete such a doll in a week and also the videos were quite primitive I just put them all all this footage into Windows Movie Maker speed it up and that's it and render there was there was no voiceover I didn't make any subtitles or just very short subtitles something like draw a face attach eyelashes make a dress that's it so of course i could make such a video in an hour and uh, such a simple doll i could also make in two three days so i had no problem with finishing the project per week uh, but right now of course it's just impossible to finish a project in a week normally i work yeah I would say 10 14 days on the doll and then still three days I need to make a video that's why I constantly work on a couple of projects on the same time and that's why I always also overstressed over the deadline because I have a deadline every week it's like to have an exam every week Friday you have to finish a huge artistic project and show it to a couple of hundreds of thousands of people every week and you know lately i really started to realize that i postponed all bigger projects because of my weekly upload schedule so i don't think this is a very good situation for me for myself for my health first of all because of all this constant deadline rush i'm in a constant rush really and also it's not good for my projects for my dolls because i think i could make better dolls and bigger projects if i was able to take a little bit more time to work on them but please let me know what you think about it in the comments and also tell me what you think about it after you watch this video because you know i will probably have to skip a video like a week before it and maybe even a video a week after this video so tell me please what do you think if this video if this project if this doll was worthy of skipping a friday or two or not or you prefer to see my videos every week friday but some smaller projects so it was a little bit longer intro but right now let's choose a doll let's choose a box and let's start working and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to be able to see my new updates every week friday or not every week friday and of course support my art here on youtube with your likes for you it's for free it takes a second and for me it's really huge support so thank you so much guys and let's start working so i have these three dolls here and i think that i'm going to go for this one Barbie Dream Topia just because she has a normal color body because look this doll she has purple legs this doll has blue legs and also her top and it seems also her panties are sculpted and painted on of course I can solve both of these issues and the purple legs and the painted top and blue legs but anyway if I have already one doll that has a completely normal skin tone when her body has the same color like the face of course I'm going to start working with this doll because it's just going to I don't know save me some time because these two dolls I would have to overpaint with acrylics completely so I'm keeping these two dolls for the future projects and this mini barbie dream topia will become our model of the week so now let's take a look at the boxes so and this is the box number one this is the smallest one and i can see it already now that this box is not going to be big enough for our doll and this is actually a box for like for some drawing supplies for art supplies and taking dolls in Dutch in the Netherlands so this box is clearly too small I will not be able even to put a bed here so let's take a look at the next 
contestant and this box I will probably use really like a box for art supplies for some pencils and stuff like this so this is the box number two you can see it's clearly bigger than the first one and this is actually a tea box I think you can put tea bags here of course all the stuff from the inside you have to remove if you're going to make a dollhouse out of it so yes this box is much bigger you can build a complete apartment here called dollhouse but the problem is that this box is not really high enough you see like the depth of the box it's not really very deep. I would say that this box would be ideal for some LOL doll project. Like, look, yes, this is ideal her size, like the height of the box. It's really perfect for a tiny LOL doll. So I think I'm going to keep this box for some future LOL doll project. We can make here a complete LOL doll house in this box. And now let's take a look at the box number three, because I think that this is the most promising contestant of the day. So, and this is it. You can see it's quite big. It's much higher than the previous box. Here, this stuff inside you can easily remove. It's also probably a tea box. I don't really remember anymore. So this stuff you can remove and throw away or you can make some piece of furniture out of it. Or I can also use it for storage in some smaller parts and art supplies. So look, this box is absolutely ideal. I think it's much higher. Here you can really place like a bed can put some closets and stuff like this so this is our doll we've chosen it here is our box also the winner of this competition and I think we can start working let's start with the doll probably because here I feel more confident and I'm going to start like always with removing her outfit all these accessories and then we're going to cut her hair very very short like always And by the way, it says Chelsea on the bottom of her shoes and it also says Chelsea on her underwear. <laughs> so strange, I don't know, I feel completely lost in Barbie's siblings at the moment. I really thought her name was Kelly or Shelly, something like this, but it doesn't matter. And her shoes are impossible to remove without cutting them off on the back, by the way. So now I can cut her hair very very short and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to be able to disconnect the head from the body. And after this, I can take pure acetone and remove her original face. I'm going to give her yarn hair later, so now I can spray the head with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will start drawing her face. I start like always with catching her eyes, eyebrows, nostrils and lips. And then I will apply some shadows using soft pastels.
So then I add some highlights, a little bit of blush on top of it to make her more like healthy and tanned and happy looking. And then I will take my pencils and we will draw the rest of her face, like the eyes, the lips, the smile. So, and while I was waiting for the sealant to dry, I made my research and I educated myself about multiple Barbie siblings. So, I call this doll Kelly or Shelly in the beginning of this video. And this is because I'm an old lady, guys. Because in 2011, she was replaced by Chelsea. So, we are working on Chelsea today. And she's like a new incarnation of Kelly. It's good to know because I really felt pretty awkward. When the face looks finished, I start working on the body and I start like always with sanding it with nail buffers to make the surface completely matte. Then I spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I blush it with the same pastels that we've just used on her face. Okay, now let's make her hair. I have here a couple of wefts left after making the Marie Antoinette doll a couple of weeks ago. She had really huge hair, so I've made lots of wefts. And now I think this hair color would perfectly fit this mini doll as well. It would look like a little bit bleached by the sun. So if you want to see how I've turned this yarn into hair, please go and check out my Marie Antoinette video. And I will start attaching hair to the doll's head using tacky glue. Yarn hair is much thinner, finer, and it's also lighter than regular doll hair. So I think it would look better and more proportional on this tiny doll than nylon or saran hair. Now I will let this glue dry completely and you know guys, I just want to start working on the box immediately because I just cannot wait to do it. This is the most exciting part of the project for me this time. So I don't know, what should we do first? Probably I will start with removing all these metal things because it will be easier to paint the box when it's disassembled. Now I'm going to make a couple of holes in this box, starting with a big hole on top of it. And I will use my brand new Dremel tool for it. I had an old and cheap rotating tool before, but you know it started to act really weird lately. So I've treated myself with a new Dremel. I don't know, it's just perfect for this new project. I'm really happy about it. It's a micro one, so it's really light and it lays really perfectly in my hand. And then I'm also making three holes on the front side of the box. So this is how it all looks. Now let's paint the outside of the box white and then we'll decorate it. I'm going to use these pretty napkins to decorate the box and yes guys, it's gonna be C themed box today. It's gonna be something like, uh, I don't know, submarine or something like this, some underwater secret place for my doll. And I start with covering the box with a good layer of tacky glue. And then I let it dry for, well, let's say about an hour. It's supposed to dry kind of completely. 
These napkins, they have three layers of paper, but I will use just the upper layer with paint on it for my project. Then I place the napkins on the box. The glue is already dry at this moment. I cover it with a piece of baking paper and I iron it with quite a hot iron for about 20 to 30 seconds. And when we remove the baking paper, we see that our napkin got glued to the wooden surface absolutely perfectly. You might need to repeat it a couple of times to be sure that all the sides and corners are glued nicely to the box. So, and like this, I cover the complete box with napkins. And this is what we've got, it looks really nice to me. So now I'm going to cover it with a couple of layers of varnish to protect the surface, because you know now it's really fragile, and after this we are going to continue. On the next step I cover all the corners of the box with black acrylics. And when the black color gets dry, I take a sponge and I apply a layer of white acrylics on top of the black. And then I take a very fine sanding paper and I gently remove the upper layer of white paint on the corners, exposing the black paint under it. I don't know, I just think that the box looks more interesting now with this texture on the corners. At least it doesn't look uh, that much fresh painted, so I think it's a good, a little bit aging effect. So, now I can cover it all with a final layer of varnish and I think we are done with the outside of this box for now. And now let's start working on the inside. And first of all, I'm going to paint the sides white. Then I've printed out different patterns to make walls and the floor. And now we're going to attach them to the box using tacky glue. So now I can connect the two parts together again and then we'll start creating the world inside of the box. First of all I want to make some sort of the second floor using these popsicle sticks. Well, it will not be exactly the second floor, but rather like a captain's bridge, because like I've said it already, we're making something like a creep inside of a submarine. So this is how it looks now and let's also make a ladder and attach it to the captain's bridge. Thank you. 
I will use these tiny hinges to connect the leather and the platform and since these sticks are too thin to use screws in them, I will simply glue the hinges on. And now this leather can be used to keep the box open. You see, I cannot close it right now, the leather is on the way. And when I want to close the box, I just need to move the leather up and here we go. Super, I'm very happy. Well, now the main elements of the construction are done. I still need to make the windows before I can start installing the furniture and the windows I will make out of resin. And first of all, I'm making some sort of pouring forms out of tape and paper and hot glue. Liquid resin is very sticky, so the forms must be covered with tape completely. And I use really a lot of hot glue around to be sure that resin will not leak from these forms. I will add a couple of drops of blue paint to the resin and I will mix it really good. And then I also want to add some sparkly glitter to the mix. Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> it looks so pretty, really. This is probably the prettiest thing ever. Glitter in resin, really super. Very satisfying. So, and now I pour this glittery mix to the forms and I let it cure for, for sure, 24 hours. And meanwhile, I think we can start making furniture to install it all into the house later when the windows are done. Because, uh, you know, waiting for 24 hours, it would be just a pure waste of time. So, I'm going to start with the boat steering wheel. I will use this foam tube to make it. And I will also need a bunch of toothpicks. And you know, I bought these tubes in our local cosplay store just out of curiosity, thinking like, I don't know, it might be useful for something in the future. And you see, now it's the moment. I paint the wheel and the stand with acrylics and after this I will connect them with the pin and like this our doll will be able to turn it. So, the next step is making a chair using this thick foam. I 
I cut the barbecue stick into shorter pieces and then I will make four holes on the bottom of the chair and I fix the sticks in the holes. After this I paint the chair first white and then I draw blue stripes on top of the white. So and here is our super cute chair and now I think it's time to make a bed. I'm starting with making a basic bed construction out of popsicle sticks and a piece of thick foam. I've got here a couple of pieces of tiny wooden decorations and I think they would look really good on the bed. And then I paint the bed white and the decorations I will make blue and red. So this is her mini sleeping place and now let's make pillows, blankets and all other things that we use in our beds. I have here different kinds of fabric, a piece of white felt, so let's make something out of it. And here is our bed, it looks very cute and it's perfectly in style with the rest of the room. And now I still want to make some sort of a shelf out of popsicle sticks. Now I'm going to make a boat to decorate the shelf and actually this boat was a part of a real dollhouse that I've never managed to assemble completely because I just had no time for it. I was always busy with dolls uploading every week Friday. So I thought I would borrow the boat for my project today because it would look absolutely perfect here. Okay, now it's been already over 72 hours since I filled these forms in with resin. Now it looks perfectly cured and hard, so I think we can finally install the windows. And first of all, I'm going to remove the windows from the forms. Then I place the glass into the window holes and I cover it with warbler thermoplastic. First I use a sticky warbler, the white one. It will really glue the box and the resin windows together. 
and then I cover it with regular warbler, you know, just for design, just to make it pretty. After doing this, we are going to the inside of the box and then we are covering it with warbler again. And these steps I repeat with all four windows. Now I can cover the warbler parts with black acrylics and then I will apply a couple of layers of gold and acrylics on top of it. Okay, now let's make another element of the house decoration and this time we're going to make a net. Yes, guys, I have a lot of hidden talents, but this is actually very easy. And then two hours later, I've got about one meter of this net and now I will attach it to the box. But first of all, I want to glue these two pieces of ribbon to the sides of the box and like this it will stay 90 degrees open. And then I attach our net on top of it. Then I glue seashells to the right wall to hide the places where the net connects to it. And to the left wall I attach the long shelf that we've made not so long ago. Then I've got these LED lamps and I'm going to attach the ends of it to the corners of the box. And the switch I can hide under the bed. This is kind of an ideal place to do it. Okay, now I think we can start putting everything together. I place my boat on the shelf. We can also add a couple of seashells here. These tiny plants I also took from the not assembled dollhouse. And I also want to fill this tiny glass bottle with sand. I've bought the super pretty tiny chest covered with real leather, especially for this project. And I think I will place it under the platform because it would fit this group of brown objects perfectly. So let's probably turn the big lights off to see how it looks just with Christmas lights. And I don't know guys, if this is not cool, then I don't know what is. And if we want to close the box again, we need to remove all the objects that are on the way right now. Like this chest under the platform, the boat is also way too high, way too big. 
and let's we also need to remove this chair with stripes so everything that is on the way should go on the floor net the lamps everything we can put inside of the box move the staircase up and then we can close it okay now let's finish up the doll her hair is already super dry i think she's been sitting waiting here already for two weeks so now let's style it finally and i want to give her short hair inspired by vintage kids drawings from some vintage fashion magazines i think it would fit the project much more than some long princess hair like she used to have in the beginning Well, when I'm done with the haircut, it all still looks like a mushroom, so I use some hairspray on her hair, and then I cover it with kitchen plastic, and I let it sit overnight. And while the kitchen plastic is doing its magic, I have time to make a dress for my doll. I've already cut out all the details out of this light blue fabric and now we're going to connect the details together. And the front of the dress I decorate with a red bow. And now let's see how her hair is doing. And it looks perfect it seems. Now I still want to add eyelashes just to the corners of the eyes. Then I cover the eyes and the lips with glossy acrylic varnish and after this, it's difficult to believe guys, we will finally take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is finally my huge project, completely finished, and I just cannot believe I've made it. It took me around three weeks, even more than three weeks to complete it, and I'm so happy right now that everything worked out just like I've planned it. And I can tell you honestly, guys, it's very satisfying to see it in real after seeing it in my imagination for a very long time. I just really hope that you like it as much as I do and that it was worth two weeks of waiting for you. So please tell me what you think and about this project and about the uploading schedule that we've discussed in the beginning of this video, because it's very important for me to know your opinion on both of these topics. And also please put a like under this video if you like this project and if you want to see more box houses made in the future on this channel. And these box with the doll are now for sale on eBay for three days. So if you are interested in it, you can find the link in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you very soon, normally next week Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.